What's up guys, Yasu here and welcome to another skill vlog. Today, we're breaking down the sombrero flick, a skill that I've previously made a tutorial for, but when I asked on Twitter, a lot of you said that you still had trouble with the initial flick and getting the right height on the ball. So today, I'm here to help with that and hopefully, you guys can nail this trick once and for all. So for starters, this trick is a lot easier to learn on grass as opposed to bitumen, concrete or any other hard surface because grass is softer so it allows you to get your foot under the ball a lot easier. So to break it down, we're going to start with the flick. Don't worry about getting the ball over your head at this stage, we're just worried about the technique involved getting it off the ground. To do this, there are two touches involved. The first touch is a lift which takes the ball forward. The second touch is a flick which brings the ball up. The lift is all about getting the right height and the flick is all about getting the right power. So approach the ball and place your dominant foot as close to it as possible, but without moving it. You're just trying to place your toe under the ball. From here, you want to lift the ball forward. Don't scoop, lift. This means bending your knee as you bring the ball up. Now, as you lift it and it's in front of you, you want to flick it upwards while it's airborne. Now, if you find that the ball just keeps shooting forward each time, it either means that you're putting too much power into the lift, or that you're not getting that second touch in quick enough. And with a bit of practice, you'll find the perfect balance between the two. Just lift, flick, and repeat. You'll get it. Take your time, slow it down, then speed up again as you get more comfortable. It's important to remember that this is a two-touch skill. It's not one touch or one movement. I see a lot of people try to do this in one motion, and it looks really uncomfortable, and overall, it just doesn't look as good. changing its trajectory. To do this, you need to get under and behind the ball. I'll show you what I mean. As you lift the ball forward, you need to get your toe under and in front of the ball to knock it back in the opposite direction while it's in the air. If you find that it's just going straight up or it's not going straight back over your head properly, it just means you're not getting under and behind it enough. It's just a matter of trial and error and you will get it. If you guys do have any more questions regarding this skill, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll stick around to answer a few. Also, whenever I'm about to make a skill vlog, I'll tweet and ask you guys what questions or difficulties you're having with that particular skill and then I'll try to incorporate that into the video which makes it better for you guys and it helps me understand what you guys want to know. So if you want to get involved in that, follow me on Twitter, the link is in the description. I hope you guys have fun practicing. I'll see you in the comment section and I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.